What's up, people? I'm Shaggy, the Opinionated Hippie, and this is part two of my deep dive into King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizards live albums. I've already done all the studios, caught up to their most recent one, uh, the one with the airplane. Um, and we're on the second of their officially released live albums. They have like bootleg albums, they have charity albums, they have like COVID releases, streaming releases. But this is one of two which I think was like just a complete full digital, full media release where we had like all the different versions of it. I think, um, honestly don't know. Um, but it is second on their official live discography and it is live in San Francisco 16. A complete live show from May 25th, 2016 in San Francisco at a venue called The Independent, which uh, was after my time living in the Bay Area. Sounds like a pretty small club. I don't know if it's an older club that has been turned into like The Independent. If anybody's been to it or knows anything about it, I love information about it, um, just if it used to be something. Um, but it, it sounds pretty small, uh, according to the sound on this release. And this is, uh, it's just a complete show. It's an 80 minute show. It's it's absolutely fantastic. It sounds fantastic. Um, I think it's on the Nonagon Infinity Tour, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so we get a bunch of Nonagon Infinity stuff that's kind of sort of the uh, the bookends that, that capture this show. And this show just works perfectly because the sequencing of the songs is absolutely perfect. And it really feels like we have one, two, like we have different like chapters in this live show that are just amazing. Um, the first five songs essentially are, are chapter one. And it's four Non and Gone Infinity songs, the first four Non and Gone Infinity songs. Um, Robot Stop, Big Fig Wasp, Gamma Knife, and people vultures. But then baked into it early, so after robot stop, they go into hot water um, off I'm in your mind. And um it sounds like a non and gone infinity song. They they're 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 jamming out robot stop, they go into hot water, they kind of finish hot water proper, and then they go back into the non and gone infinity, you open the door before they then continue with the rest of the non and gone infinity uh journey. So the first what is it, 7, 12, 16, almost 20 minutes is just this really aggressive live interpretation version of Non and Gone Infinity. Um, the songs are for the most part played as on the album with a little breathing room. Anytime there's like a beat established or a groove, maybe they'll they'll let it breathe for an extra 10 or 15 seconds at times, maybe do some audience interaction. Um, but just really awesome, out of the gate, high energy, if this is essentially the first quarter, first quarter is just nothing but fast breaks. We're scoring 35, 40 points. It's just relentless. Um, absolutely amazing. We then get like a little, a little break, almost like a little, like just a little mint to like cleanse the palate. We get a trap door off um, Paper Mache Dream, Balloon Dream, the that album. Um, really good. It almost sounds like a non and gone infinity track. It's got a little more energy, a little more electricity to it. Um, really good song. I think it was one of the highlights on those albums. Uh, but just kind of a nice little sort of break in in the midst of the madness. Because what comes next is we get the I'm in your mind, I'm not in your mind, cellophane, cellophane, I'm in your mind, fuzz sequence, which is like 13, 14 minutes. Probably one of my great favorite, all-time favorite sequences of King Gizzard music. Um just awesome King Gizzard version of a full-on like motoric, kraut rock, psych adrenaline, just pure on attack. Um, but it's got some nice changes in it when we go from song to song. The cellophane part is awesome. The pre-cellophane has that awesome, or is it right after they join cellophane, that do no 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 And you're quoting that little thing. Go back and I'm in your mind for fuzz at the end. Um, just an awesome sort of chapter three, I guess this would be. Chapter one, the five non and gone, the four non and gone affinity songs with the hot water rolled into there. The hot water kind of reminds me of a, 
Um, I don't know why, every time I listen to this, Smokey and the Bandit, if you've ever seen the movie Smokey and the Bandit, uh, there's a scene where the bandit's being chased by uh, one uh, one cop car, one Smokey. I don't, I don't think it's uh, Justice, Buford T. Justice. Um, and he rolls up on a convoy, and then a truck pulls in behind him, and then he gets in between two trucks, and this truck continues to drive by and block, like, the vision of the bandit, while the cop, like, takes that, like, the drives on like the shoulder. That's what this reminds me of. They just put hot water right in there. Like, hey, nobody's gonna know you're here. Just become a part of us. Um, so that's chapter one. Tra Trap Door is chapter two. Chapter three is this awesome, I'm in your mind through I'm in your mind fuzz block. Just beautifully performed, high adrenaline. Um, little bit of breath in the I'm not in your mind that's stretched out just a little bit. Um, really awesome. Uh, chapter four would then be The River. Um, pretty straightforward the river um you get the opening part you get the first jam they bring it way way down to like almost a point of silence they go into like the part where they return to the song and then they have the nice jam that closes it out that the ending jam um there was a the river thus far i'm pretty sure the river is the only song that has been repeated from their previous release um, and that one, they played like the opening two and a half minutes and then jammed it out. We never got the last half of the song, even though it ran like nine, 10 minutes. Um, this one, we get the full song. So it's a little bit of a different texture than the one on the first one. Uh, but it's a really good high energy performance of the river. And it's sort of a perfect balance to the I'm in your mind fuzz that precedes it. After the river, we go back to non on God Infinity for a really solid evil death roll. Um, this has a lot of really cool changes in it. This has an actual like moment of like breathing space in the middle of it, which on Non and Gone Infinity is just like, comes towards the latter half of the album and it's just like, all right, feels like we can breathe. feels like finally there's a little bit of like space. Um, it works really well in the live context, though for the most part, it's a pretty straightforward Evil Death Roll. Awesome, pretty much, I think it's the main set closer. And I think the the one more song that's on here, I think is the encore. Um, but it's got really good energy returning to that non and gone infinity craziness. You get the non and gone infinity, you open the door theme that pops up in the middle of it. So it's great sort of bookending continuity for like the main set works really well, gives by repeating the, th that phrase that opens up the first song, it's this really nice thread that runs through the entire show, even though we do have breaks between some of the songs. Um, and then for the encore, we get what is a psychedelic rock classic, a mic drop, just absolutely perfect song. We get a head on slash pill. The head on is stretched out a little bit. They're having a little more fun with the head on. There's a little more eerie noises. It feels a little more ominous. It feels a little more just like they're allowing the head on to breathe. Then they drop into the pill and the pill is just, they're off. They're running. It's a great pill jam. Uh, it's really dynamic. You have different things going on in the pill jam. I think we get a flute solo at some point. Um, we quote, there's a non and gone infinity quote. There's a cellophane quote. There's a, they sing um, the whole first part of Am I in Heaven? They don't go into the crazy like latter half jam, but they do that acoustic part, like right in the middle of the pill jam. They just go in and do like a, somewhat tweaked version of Am I in Heaven and seeing those. I think it's just the first verse, verse in the chorus. Then they go back into pill. Uh, but it's a 22 and a half minute head on pill that's just stretched out and jammy and loose. And it's King Gizzard just leaving it all out there on the stage for their final number before they call it quits. Um, it is just a really tight, concise, not a minute wasted, 80 minutes of music. It is just, yeah, it, it is, it's why you go see this band live. It is absolutely amazing, absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it. It's good. If I had to compare this to uh, Chunky Shrapnel, uh, the previous live release, I'm not going to put the list on the screen because there's only two of them, but I assumed that this was going to go first. Just, I've listened to these both, you know, over the past, what, four years? Um, never really done where I listened to them back to back and kind of had in my mind idea that I'm going to compare them. And I assume this was going to be number one because it's a complete show. Uh, there's no fade outs. There's no weird breaks. There's no studio instrumental stuff, but I'm not. This is going to be number two because even though I like 
the concept of this better. A complete show, start to finish. That's all you get. That's all you need. This is S-tier stuff. <clears throat> um, the River on Chunky Shrapnel, which opens up that whole thing, which is actually an encore. They use it in, as an opener. Is ridiculous. Murder of the Universe. Probably one of the sickest things I've ever heard. And though Head on Pill doesn't appear on the track list, the last song, A Brief History of something, I always forget what it is, The World maybe, um, most of that is a Head on Pill. It's just they've taken it from various sources and like made sort of this Frankenstein monster type thing like Zappa does with like King Kong or something or like the Nancy and Mary music. It's like that. Like doesn't say Head on Pill, but this is Head on Pill. Um, and I think those moments, despite the fact that there's fade outs and a drum solo and weird edits, I think the highlights on Chunky Shrapnel, Chunky Shrapnel, carry that album and almost make it just a slightly more rewarding listen. So it's a neck to neck thing. But at this point, Chunky is first, this is second, but I would say they're both S tier live albums. Absolutely love them both. Um, but that's all I got. Um, highly recommend you check this out if you like them, especially if you like the more aggressive stuff, the like non and gone infinity stuff. Um, that sort of energy, even though we do get a nice river, uh, that energy pervades a lot of what they're playing here. Definitely serves I'm in your mind, the I'm in your mind suite very well. Serves head on pill very well. Um, but yeah, I recommend this. It's a great live album. Get it. It's 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 amazing. And if you know anything about the independent, let me know. Um but yeah, that's all I got. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Let me know your thoughts on this album, on comparing this to Chunky Shrapnel, why you like which one better, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Uh, that's all. Thanks for watching um, and peace. Talk to you later.